All right, guys, welcome back. Haruka Gaming here with another One Piece Bounty Rush video. And today we're going to be looking at Sentomaru. I was using him in stream and he seemed pretty decent, so I thought, why not? Let's just make a video on it and hope that this will turn out well. Um, yeah, he's very, very good. He has a lot of knockback, you know, uh, just like Ganfall. He's basically like a green Ganfall, if you want to put it that way. Except he doesn't have the traits that Ganfall does, but that's fine. Either way, we're running, uh, what you might call it, the, the damage reduction set, so Buffalo Metal, Corazon Metal, and then the Glare Glare Metal. Very, very nice. And then we are going to be uh, running 164.7% support with Runners, Straw Hat Pirates, Paramecia, Captain Grand Line, and Worst Gen. Worst Gen is going to be popping off here, hopefully, so yeah, let's go into League and see how he does. Alright, match number one here. Looks like we have Roger, Rayleigh, and another Roger. Full runners. Enemy team is Roger, EX Zoro, EX Luffy, and AC Yamato. So you know what we gotta do. The job of a runner, of a defender, I mean. I was about to say runner, but no, the job of a defender. You all know how it goes. It's boring as shit, but you know it has to be done. If you all want to play the game properly, this is what has to be done, man. Thankfully, Sento Madu is actually pretty fast to fill up the flags. So that's always very, very nice. Alright, so that clearly hit, but, uh, you know, he didn't get knocked back because, you know, the game is a piece of shit sometimes. That was very, very dumb. I don't know why he didn't get knocked back. I'll leave Zoro to deal with that. That's fine. Alright, that's fine. They should be able to tank here. Alright, well, I can't tank Albert, of course. That's a different story in and of itself. Um, well, let's come back to Sentomaru. I couldn't see because of the wall and I was trying to pay attention to what's his name as well well first match pretty decent I guess wasn't anything crazy but uh, we tried our best there weren't in really any Rogers to stop, but I guess the problem is once you run out of your skills, then it's kind of hard. But uh, yeah, the first time I didn't understand why that went through the Roger and didn't actually take him off the flag. That made no sense to me, but all right, dude. Whatever, man. Still, Sentomaru did his thing. Can't do anything against Albert, dude. That man puts out too much damage on 
older units, so yeah. Alright, match number two. We have two Rogers and Kid and Law. Enemy team is two Rogers, Zoro, and Gear 5. Nice. Um, I'll go to the D flag. Just because... Uh, or they did, Kid and Law just didn't even want to get a flag. Alright, dude. I thought that, you know, you would go back and get E. But, uh, you know, you just don't even want to get a flag. All right, bro. I'll go charge up the C flag. Um, alright then. Damn, that sucks. And literally no one is guarding any flags. Alright dude, whatever you say man. Thanks guys. Love to see that everyone's uh, guarding flags. They had to do the most. Well, I don't really have anything else I can do. Um, I guess I'll just be annoying a bit. I guess I'll go fill up the flags. There's nothing else for me to do. I'll leave the bottom to Luffy. That's fine, they can't cap the flag. Roger, thank you, bro. Dude, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, Roger, dude. That was so cool, bro. You literally could have just killed them both, but instead you decided that you didn't want to do that. For some reason whatsoever, you decided that that wasn't a play. Don't know why that wasn't a play, but for you, that apparently wasn't a play. What happened to our Gear 5 ally, dude? Where the fuck did you go, bro? Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. I don't know why this is so stressful for no reason whatsoever. You know, we literally could have won the match. We literally could have won the match if it wasn't for one, this fucking Gear 5 player who was nowhere to be found, and that dumbass Roger for ignoring the Gear 5 and the Mihawk. You could have just killed them. I don't understand why you didn't just kill them. I literally, I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. Why didn't you just kill them? Like, honest, honestly, why did you not just kill them? Anyways, whatever, dude. Sentomaru didn't really have anything to, that he could have done in this match. Because uh, there was nowhere for him to go, really. But either way, I guess that's it. Alright, so last match we have Whitebeard, Roger, and uh, Mace Yamato. No runners. Enemy team has uh, Roger, Bello Betty, Zoro, and uh, and Cracker. All right, dude. I honestly think that it's best for Whitebeard to go to D flag. But let's see what he thinks. I don't know why you wouldn't use that skill when you actually got the D flag, that would have made more sense. Oh, 
Alright, that definitely hit, but for some reason it didn't. I'm wedding Sanji now. Oh, thank you, White Beard, bro. No, I appreciate it, man. No, really, dude. Really, I appreciate it, bro. I uh, really do appreciate it, man. No worries, bro. Thank you, White Beard, dude. Really do appreciate it, man. I really do uh, like the fact that you are doing so well, man. I don't know who that hit. Really appreciate the stuns, man. Dude, those are so cool, bro. They're so good. All right, well, maybe, uh, you know. Team boost. God damn it, dude. Well, I can't do anything about team boost. Can't do anything about team boost, dude. Yep, send your angry stamps as if you know, as if it was like someone else's fault that we lost. I guarded the flags as best as I could, man. Some games, you know, we had no runners. What are we supposed to do there? Look who had a runner, White Beard. Guess who he started with, White Beard. Even though I had. Sentomaru! But of course, dude. Of course, he had a runner. But he chose not to use him. That's him. That's on him. Alright, guys. Well, I tried to use uh, this, this man over here. Um, I think he did decently. You know, he does have the knockback skills. He can stop Rogers and stuff when uh, he doesn't get stunned. But... Yeah. Is he meta? Of course not. Of course not, dude. But he can at least still uh, guard the flag a little bit. He is uh, very, very fast at filling the flags, so that's a plus. You know, if you knock back Roger, you can fill it up quite a lot, unlike other defenders. Um, especially the EX ones, they fill the flags very, very slowly. Um, especially Gear 5, he is extremely slow. Um, but yeah, Sento Maru is very, very fast at filling the flags, which is a positive for him, and he does have a lot of knockback, which is another positive for him. The only problem is, is that when Roger starts capping your skill too, because it's a counter, it does take a while for it to hit, and uh, it, you can get stunned in that time if your allies are dumb as shit, just like that white beard. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Either way, I will uh, pull the video there. If you did enjoy the video, then please do leave a like and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more content. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.